Hi, this project is a demonstration of detecting phishing websites using machine learning technique. The phishing website can be detected based on some important characteristics like URL, domain identity, and security and encryption criteria. System will use data mining algorithm to detect whether the website is phishing website or not. Data mining algorithm used in this system provides better performance as compared to the other traditional classification algorithm. Let's see how the system works. Uh, there will be two people who will log into the system. One will be the admin, another one will be the user. So let's see the admin module. Admin must enter his ID and the password in order to log into the system. So let's enter the ID and the password. Once the admin clicks to the login button, he will be redirected to this uh, module. So over here, the first module is the view user module. Over here, the admin can view the user details who have registered to the system. Let's see the next module that is add blacklist. Over here, the admin can add the URL which are blacklisted. And once he clicks to the add to blacklist, the URL will be added to the blacklist or database. So, so whenever user enters the URL, the system will check into the database whether the URL is blacklisted or not. Let's see the next module that is add words. Over here, the admin can add the keywords which will be checked by the system when running the algorithm. Uh, when the user enters the URL, that uh, keywords will be checked when the URL is entered by the user. And if it is seen in the keyword table, so the system will uh, reject that URL and will uh, specify to the user the, that this website is blacklisted. And these keywords will be searched in meta tag as well as uh, in title. So if uh, the system finds the, those keywords present in the meta tag as well as the title, so that site will be, will be shown to the user as blacklisted. So what the admin must do is you must enter the keyword like uh, if I enter any of the string. So once it clicks to the add button, these details will be added into the system and the system will check whether uh, this keyword is present in the meta tag or title of the particular URL. Let's see the next model that is view list. Over here, the admin can view the list of blacklisted website as well as their score and the, whether the site is phishing or not. It will be displayed over here. So let's see the next model that is view blacklisted words. Over here, currently no word present. If it is present, the admin must confirm that blacklisted words. So let's see the next model that is view feedback. Over here, the admin can view the various feedback provided by the user. This is how the admin model works. Let's see the next model that is user login. If the user is a new member, he can register himself by clicking on to the register link button. So he must specify the following details, his personal details, name, email ID, address, contact number. And he must specify his credentials, username and password which is used for login. So I had already registered myself, so I'll use the ID and the password to log into the system. So once the user enters the ID and the password and clicks on to the login button, he'll be redirected to this uh, module that is my details. He can use personal detail, his name, email ID, address and contact number. Let's see the next model that is check website over here. He must enter the URL and click on to the submit button. So let's enter the URL. Let's enter this URL. And click on to the submit button so over here we used an algorithm to check whether the site is blacklisted based on uh, the parameters like uh, the domain identity and the security as well as the url and uh, we check whether the site has been blacklisted by the admin whether he had entered the url as blacklisted the system the algorithm checks that and uh, the system also checks uh, whether the keywords present in the meta tag and title if it is so the site will specify that the site is blacklisted and it will specify other details like whether the site is secured with HTTPS or not. So you can see over here the site is not secured with HTTPS and you can see the site image. This is the site image. So this is how the algorithm works. Let's see the next model that is feedback. Over here the user ID it will be provided by the system. He must provide the feedback and once he clicks on to the submit button this feedback will be shown to the admin so this is how the user model works so this is how detecting phishing website using machine learning technique works thank you